Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So today, as usual, let's go over the market. Let's see what we can dissect. And uh, yeah, all that being said and done, let's just get this party started. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Nothing I say is financial advice. Do your own research, make your own decisions, etc. Apologies for this video being a little bit late. The reason it's late is because I was actually out test driving the uh, uh, Hyundai Ioniq 5. And the reason I was doing that is because I personally own a Model 3 Performance and I had to test drive, you know, I tested new vehicles and also other EVs as well to see what the competitors are doing, you know, the Ionic, whether it's the Lucid, etc., etc., the, the Ford Mach-E. I like to test drive those cars myself and get an experience as to see, you know, just what are they doing? How are their cars looking like? You know, all that kind of stuff. And I think it's an important, like a test case almost, if you will, uh, being someone that, you know, is, of course, a Tesla bull. But either way, guys, let's jump into it again. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button if you want me to kind of go over my thoughts on that maybe into next video tomorrow video and what i think about their cars compared to teslas you can you know let me know by hitting that like button as well but all in all tesla actually ended in the day believe it or not as surprising and shocking as it is up 3.3 percent doesn't feel like it for some reason does it but we are up 3.3 percent up another one percent post market i did end up getting uh, a call as the market closed mainly because i do think tesla at least at the moment is definitely showing signs of a potential short term at least bottom at least for now and a sign of a reversal this doesn't mean that this is the bottom but it could be a bottom for now so to get a call again nothing major just a small percentage of my portfolio but just you know, to kind of trade for fun um but yeah so test ending the day uh, up 3.31 uh, percent 112 dollars 71 cents and especially compared to the market being down uh, almost a percent and a half for the qqq for instance quite a severe outperformance finally for tesla it just feels like tesla is just the opposite of what the market wants to do lately but nonetheless right the market itself QQ, you can see is not looking too fantastic here spy looking a little bit potentially bearish here right closing a candle where it previously it never did before at least you know like in recent examples so the market looks a little bit suspicious while tesla actually looks potentially not so suspicious and i'll show you guys why as i open this up and i type in uh inside a day candle right so we have essentially an inside day candle today is what it seems like at least where that usually is a sign of a reversal if you just compare these right here inside days occur when a candlestick pattern forms on a given day completely within the bounds of prior days highs and lows now the only issue i would say that makes this a little bit suspicious is the fact that we did go a little bit lower than yesterday's candle not a whole lot just this tiny tiny little part of the overall candle is a little bit lower than yesterday's highs or low rather that's the only part that makes me a little bit you know it's like it's like it's so darn close it's like 95 percent of the way there of being an inside day candle because other than this tiny tiny part of the bottom which is like literally five percent of the whole candle it's an absolutely beautiful inside day candle and that's usually a sign of reversal whether it's a bearish or bullish reversal uh, obviously in a downtrend it's a bullish reversal uptrend bearish reversal right the inside day pattern indicates a smaller trading range in relation to previous days intradays often signaling some consolidation series of inside day candles can set up indicators for trend reversals and technical analysis right so it doesn't mean that it has to absolutely reverse starting tomorrow necessarily but it's a damn good start right so that's why i personally got a call again nothing major and i personally think that this could be potentially the sign of a reversal now the question of course i'm sure everyone is asking is well if we in theory bounce from here where can we go so I cleaned up my chart a little bit. It's a little bit less messy, a little bit less lines overall. I'll try to make it a little more readable and easier on the eyes. But um, you can see there's major things I'm looking at, right? Overall, uh, we are still, I believe, in this overall yellow downtrend right here. And then there's two kind of uptrend lines, if you will, that you can kind of, you know, take a look at, right? There's this one right here. So let's take a look at this one first, all right? So we have this one right here. We can argue all the way back when we were still at 313, right? You can technically argue this is one of them. I don't put, this one's a little bit suspicious because it doesn't get to touch this one. And if you do touch this one, this one goes way above it, right? For instance, right? If you go like this, it becomes like just a little weird, right? It's like, you know, what's, you know, what's up with this? You know, it, it just doesn't really fit. It just goes right through things like, and, and it looks really, really messy, which is why I also have this one over here. Uh, which I think I'm personally putting a little bit more weight into personally, right? Uh, however, you know, overall, I would say the easiest way to look at it is if assuming this is at least a short term bottom, at least for now, which, you know, again, I said that 112 area was pretty important uh, a couple of days ago. We did close below it, which was suspicious. But again, you know, it's not that bad three day rule like I have. Um, you know, and we did close above it and we are above this general area and did bounce off this general area of, you know, 112, 110-ish, right, which is great. Uh, and this was a potential bounce area. If not, then like I said, we go down to pretty much 100. So I do believe that ultimately I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla breaks down below 100. And I still believe 
the realistic worst case target is about 60 to 70 dollars right which is, is almost a half from here which is quite unbelievable to think that we can still drop that much more but i definitely wouldn't throw that out now because of how weak tesla has been right and how weak it's been overall recently that definitely to me is not out of the equation uh however all that being said and done with this potentially being a, a sign of a reversal and a sign of a short-term bottom and a potential bounce dead cat bounce more specifically where can we go so again first and foremost i would personally be looking at this overall line right here i'm gonna bring uh oh wow it does all this huh? so i'm gonna wait till it goes back to that line that i had wow it actually reverses every single potential zoom i did that's kind of insane anyway uh so yeah so i would personally look at this one right here let's color it a little bit actually i'll color this one differently so that we can kind of you know differentiate so the yellow lines are the ones I'll personally be looking at, right? So if we do bounce from here, I would personally be looking at the bounce leading up somewhere around the one, at least 150 in my opinion, right? Mainly because that was another pretty major resistance that at least in, it should have been, which you, you can see all the way over here when we traded, major, major resistance. Unfortunately, we kind of broke down through it like butter. We did bounce off of it a little bit, you can see, right? Maybe go on the three hour, you can see. We did get a bit of bounces around the 150, but nothing crazy. There was a lot more over at 166 ish, and especially all the way up closer to 180. Now, I don't think we'll go up to 180. That feels pretty unrealistic. And if we do, that'll be fantastic, because then that means we break out of both of these trend lines. Again, I don't think that'll happen. And if that were to happen, that would have to happen pretty much tomorrow. So, very unlikely. However, with that being said and done, I do think that, you know, the realistic best case scenario at the moment would be this kind of 166 ish area which you can see we did get a bunch of support and bounces off of this uh general level over here and even back here ended up being some you know uh, resistance as well twice right over here as well right so that's something else to consider so that to me is the current realistic best case scenario for the bounce and the more probable that is probably going to happen in my opinion is at least 150 so anywhere between 150 to the top of this yellow line which is around almost 170 is the overall range i would personally say now another way to determine of course is using the fibonacci if you take the fibonacci from the potential swing uh swing high which is all the way up here at uh pretty much 200 we can say before the real drop really happened and assuming this down here is more or less the bottom you can see uh you know the 0.5 is pretty common give or take right so Anywhere between the 0.382 to the 0.618, I would say, is the most common places to retrace. I don't know if this color is hard to see. Maybe it's hard to see for you guys. Maybe, I'm not really sure. Maybe red is it? No, definitely not red. Maybe white. Yeah, I think white's nice. So yeah, so I would say either the the, the 0.5 is like the most kind of, you know, common-ish one, but anywhere between the 0.618 to the 0.382. 0.382, if we go up to 143 and then we just bounce from there back down, would show that Tesla is truly, truly just really, really weak right now. Assuming there's at least some form of strength, which I do think there will be, mainly because, you know, how I always say, when something goes up ex explosively, it will most likely fall explosively and vice versa. Th that That's always the case both ways, right? In this case, because we just completely just and utterly collapsed, like absolutely just straight up crashed usually the bounces from that tend to be pretty aggressive as well and pretty sharp and fast and you know they, they bounce pretty high in general so i'll be surprised if we only get up to this level which is around that 143 i'm personally expecting about 150 maybe as high as about 165 ish currently is my projection we'll see what happens with that of course but the fibonacci suggests that level as well the overall trend line that we are currently in they do suggest that we can go up as high as those levels as well uh and that's kind of what i am personally looking at so right that's that's my projection. That's my guess. Taking a look at uh, the major indicators. I mean, we're well below everything, of course. Everything's just trying to catch up to us at the moment. The main one to look at, in my opinion, is the Bollinger Band, which we've been hugging the red line for so long. The Bollinger Bands are expanding as well, you can see. And now I think it's going to slowly come up, probably closer to the white line, which is also sitting around that 160-ish level. And as we get there, most likely consolidate a tiny, tiny bit. The Bollinger's most likely will collapse. And I think we might continue on with the leg down even further. But that's essentially what I am currently predicting and currently seeing at the very moment. And the final thing to note is the fact that on top of this uh, potential you know green day i mean three percent over over three percent on a decently red market day overall we have fantastic volume actually higher volume than the days we were selling which you can argue is actually a good thing if we had these green days on lowering volume which is still possible so for instance if we start rallying up and let's say we go up to 160 as an example but you can see the volume is going to be slowly decreasing like something like this as we're rallying that would be a definitely uh, a pretty big sign that this is nothing more than just a simple dead cap bounce and it's most likely going to be a massive bull trap so we'll see if that ends up coming to fruition or not but that overall ladies and gentlemen is everything that i have to say for now so let me know what you think down below
again, if you're wondering what I am personally doing, again, just you know, don't follow it. This is just you know what I'm thinking, potentially doing is I do have a call. Again, very small, nothing crazy. Um, but what I'm personally doing is with my shares, if we do come up to that 160-ish level, I will be selling very long data calls, probably for 160, probably for June, something like that. Again, I don't know for sure. That's just kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. I'll see when it gets there. And then on my smaller account, I might take a small loss, sell everything, and then potentially wait for either a double bottom back at this 100-ish level, or if we do come down all the way to 60, of course, buy back there as well. So that's kind of what I'm personally thinking. Again, you know, we'll see what happens, but once Tesla really starts this bounce, which I do think it seems like it really wants to here, um, I do think the FOMO is gonna be real. I think a lot of people will FOMO into this, uh, potentially, especially if it starts really getting up to like 140s, uh, and then that's when another bull trap will most likely be set, and we'll see how that ends up overall forming. But overall, guys, that is what I'm seeing. Thank you so much for watching. A lot of information in this video. Hope it wasn't, you know, overwhelming, but I'm trying to make it, you know, as approachable as I can. And yeah, that's essentially it. So let me know what you think down below. Again, don't forget, guys, the RSI has historically in Tesla, in Tesla, never ever been this oversold. So just another thing to keep in mind, right? It is due for a bounce. It is substantially oversold. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below. See you tomorrow. Peace.